Uh, welcome to the future. Um, our gloves became remotes, or uh, our remotes became gloves. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's it is happening. So strap yourselves in for this first comprehensive look at the new Air Glove by Posway. This revolutionary new remote is compatible with most Meepo and Posway boards and could change the way a lot of people escape. Let's get started with the box. And here we are. The packaging is clean and gives us our first look at the shape it's going to have on your hand as well as the air glove name which is fitting for such an iconic and innovative product. In the box we're gonna get a zipper case right away which has got a nice hard case keep everything protected and organized on the go as well as the owner's manual which I read ahead of time. You get started by putting on one of the gloves they give you a spare just in case that's just nice. It's got a really decent feel to it. The fabric is soft, flexible, and feels like it's not going to restrict your movement, but it'll fit under something. Next up is going to be the remote itself, which is going to have a wristband with the control unit, and then two finger slots for your pointer finger and your thumb that have the control units themselves on it for the motion. It's pretty easy to get on right if you think about putting the screen itself on the back of your hand. That way you put your thumb through the side hole, you get it adjusted on your wrist, and then you can put your fingers into the slots at the end. I'll get my wrist adjusted here to keep it from moving around on me, and then I'll get the pointer finger afterwards and then get it all together to show you what it should look like once you've put it on correctly. It's actually comfortable, moves easily, and doesn't feel bad at all, so let's get it going. And look at that, we're not connected yet. So, as expected, we'll need to pair this to the board. First up, turn the board on. Then hold the power button down for several seconds until you hear a single beep. Then turn your remote on and hold the power button and the mode button at the same time to pair. And as you can see, for me, it went right away and we're in action. And I love the feeling of the thumb remote, but I gotta say right away this was something else. <laughs> and right away, the controls were intuitive to learn. You move your fingers to the forward position to accelerate and backwards to break. Uh, the closer you put your fingers to the contact, the more acceleration or braking you get. The farther away you are, the looser it is. So you have full control over brakes and acceleration. The mode and power buttons still function as usual, letting you adjust your different speed modes, as well as if you're holding the brakes and press the mode button, the ability to change your braking levels. Really, this thing is the same as any other thumb-controlled remote. You've just replaced the thumb dial with your fingers. I should mention, just like usual, if you press the power button twice, you'll reverse the direction the board's going, with a really cool animation to show you. Here's our first shot of what it looks like in the wild. Just so cool already, like some sort of exoskeleton electric skateboard soldier. Uh, <laughs> make love, not war. But as you can see, I can move the board just by moving my fingers. Lock the brakes up, walk up to it, give it a push to show you it's locked up, let go, it rolls right away, you can stop it, get it to roll again. It feels like you are in a Harry Potter film. I don't know how to describe it. Um, <laughs> but it is smooth and intuitive, and I was actually surprised by how easy it is to use. 
including the braking, which you'd think would be like super sketchy, but uh, I think <laughs> learning, learning it, I was a little scared at first and it took me a while to really put my fingers together. But I learned it's all about the way you're moving your pointer finger in relationship to your thumb. Um, you just move it back and you've got brakes. It's safer than you'd think. The cool thing too is you can shift from full acceleration to full brakes instantly if you want. Or you can switch safely in between acceleration and then go smoothly into braking depending on what you want to do. And I did have a couple of close moments uh, in the beginning but you learn quickly because you have to and it was a beautiful new way to experience electric skateboarding is this for everyone maybe not but if you're curious if you're someone that really loves electric skateboarding if you've got a Meepo or a Posway it's compatible with either one uh, give it a shot it's just been a blast it is something different and I've really enjoyed mine Good battery life, USPC by the way, in case you're interested. Uh, I couldn't even wear a single bar down on that. If you are curious or interested in your own, check out the links in the description. It really helps me out. Uh, usual thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting, anything you do to support this channel, and I hope you enjoy your rides. Peace.